Okay guys, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to drive Murai Beach or get onto the beach and drive. Uh, basically what we're going to do is we're going to cross over the sand dune coming in from uh, behind the golf course there. So and then all I do is you just find some tracks that are already there and just drive in those tracks, follow those tracks. It's a lot firmer. Obviously stay on that left hand side, just throw rules. You don't have to gun it too much, it's quite firm. The softer area is basically this side. It's a lot softer here so you want to sort of pick up a bit of, bit of speed to come through here. this is soft here so you just go down to that harder patch where the sand's more firm where it's been wet from the water and we've made it through so that's pretty easy so just you get into your four-wheel drive come over that sand dune out onto the beach come down onto that harder sand down by the water's edge and I like to drive Mirawai Beach at least half tide out so half tide going out Come on and then you've got a good six hours before you sort of got to come off that other side I like to come back half tied and any higher than you got to drive on that soft sand so just driving down by the water's edge here got a good sort of 50 60 meters from the soft sand to the water and this is near the bottom of the tide so pretty basic just stick down here where the, where the sand's more firm don't drive in the water itself that's obviously salt water not good for your car just crossing the little stream freshwater stream here and then we'll just stay down here not up by the sand dunes because that's obviously where the uh, sand's a lot softer just keep driving this this edge where it's got you got the water it's come right up it's no use driving right down in that that's still salt water it'll spray up under your car so you can stick up just around this edge stay on that dry sand if it gets a little soft then go down there but you don't need to especially on that low tide And then you can just drive the beach the whole way like this until you find your spots and what we'll do is we'll take a look at a few spots basically how I find my uh, fishing spots along the beach here so we'll um, stop off every now and then when I see a hole or a gutter or anything like that and I'll just show you guys what to what to look for and the low tide what, what we're driving now is perfect for it this is when you want to do your driving your scouting It'll show you all the banks, all the holes, and it'll also also show you the holes for the high tide that you want to fish. So what you do is you find your holes on the high tide for the high tide mark for when you're fishing on the high tide, and you mark it with something on the sand dune so you know where that hole is. You come back there on that rising tide, then you park up and fish through that high tide in that hole that you've discovered. Okay, guys, here's a section here. This is what I look for. You can see the ruts here. Little ruts there. Now on the other side of those ruts, you've got a nice little bank. It's out of the water. Nice dry bit. So you've got the ruts and the nice little dry bit there. The bank. Now just on the outside of that bank, right on the lip, you can see the waves breaking. That's breaking right on the lip of this little bank here. Then it'll go flat. And then you've got waves breaking out at about 100 meters. So you've got the, the bank you'll stand on. The little lip where it's breaking right on the bank that you're standing on. And then you'll notice the waves will build. On that outer bank, break. 
and then they'll bubble, die away. That means what's happened is the waves are coming in, it's hit a bank, they've rose up, they've broke, and then they've hit the little channel in between the, the sandbar you're going to stand on and the outer bar. And that means there's a little channel there, a nice little channel that's running along this, this area here you can see. Basically, you've got the white water right on the lip there. Then you've got flat water. And then you've got waves breaking. And they're breaking about 100 meters out. So that's where you want to be surf casting on the low tide. This is why low tide's real good for fishing. It, it lets you access that deeper water. Fish will come in there and they'll just swim up and down in that little channel there. All the worms and, and bait fish and all sorts will be sitting in that in that uh, hole there, that channel and you'll get the worms and all sorts on the banks getting washed up in the waves and that's why the fish will come in and they'll just swim up and down this channel and that's a perfect spot for surf casting on Mirawai ok guys, here's the hole so there's the bank over there so it, it goes out like that, the bank and then it comes in to this hole and then it goes back out on the bank and it'll come back in the hole so here's the hole here you'll notice the water will come in here get a little bit deeper you'll know how close it is to the sand dune compared to the bank so we're looking at a good sort of 100 meters from the sand dune to the water and then when you go over to the bank, it's probably 200 meters because the bank sits further out. It goes out and then comes into those holes. So here's your hole. You can see it there. And then you can see the bank. The water goes right out. So the water's real close here, showing me there's a hole. Water's going way out, showing me there's the bank. And there's the breaking on the lip. And you'll notice here, the waves will die away and just bubble in here because it's deeper there's a hole there so that's how you find your holes it's a good time to, to, to sort of come out and prospect is that low tide you'll see it all you'll see the banks you'll see the channels the gutters the holes the lot best time to do it is that low tide okay guys here's a perfect shot here's our nice bank on the low tide and then you look further down here off the side of the bank there's a hole real nice hole that'll probably be sort of waist deep already and it wouldn't surprise me if you had trevally going in there at the moment feeding but that's basically what you're looking for so we've got our nice little bank here we'll fish off on that low tide passed out 100 meters we'll be fishing in in the channel there and then here's your hole, you can see how that's all nice and still sand and then it goes into that nice hole there, that's a perfect hole to be fishing on that high tide I would be marking something up here on that sand dune to let me know to drive back here on the high tide and I'll be able to cast into that hole ok guys we found that hole that I was just talking about I'm going to grab a marker some blue rope here it's a good thing to do is get up on the top of the dune and you'll see it all and you can see it there see how the bank goes out and then it's the water's a lot closer here there's your hole and then it goes into another bank over there so look at that hole right there, that's a perfect scenario. Got the flat, and then the hole. So that's perfect, that's what you want to look for for those high tide spots, I've marked it. We'll come back here on the high tide, park up, and we'll be able to cast into that hole over the high tide. Fish will come in there, mooch in there. More so in the evening, early morning. Obviously fish come in when it's a bit darker. That's the time to do it early morning or late evening. 
So hopefully that explains it, driving the beach. So just drive along close to the water's edge where the uh, sand's more firm. And then finding those banks and the holes. So hopefully uh, that helps you guys get out off Meriwai and get into some fish or some better spots to fish.